Okay, so I'm not going to do any preamble or anything like that. I'm just going to go straight in. I think you need to at least start with like a greeting. If you can address the audience directly, people like that. Hello, fans. Um, that was amazing. I mean, spot so, on, right? So good. Yeah, really so good. good. That was you're, you're one take. So inspiring. I've been spending a lot of time really trying to figure up, conjure up ideas of what the public really want from me. So a, a, a beauty tutorial, maybe? The Queen's maybe? Speech, but much, much, much longer. In February, rather than December, and with me, rather than, I mean, you know, the actual, actual queen. queen. Yeah. Um, I wonder if it might be a touch heavy. But the Queen does one every year, Isaac. And it's very popular. So it was amazing yesterday at the airport. There was lots of lovely little Japanese people there to greet me. There was tears, which I always, I always like. I think that that shows you're a true fan when you cry or when you pass out. When the paramedics are called, it's always a good sign. <laughs> that shows real determination as a fan, I think. Do you know, it was so great to have a girl and the boys are so great with her and David's such a great dad. It's so cute to see him with a little... Did someone just do a woo-woo? Yeah, literally. Someone did a woo. I mean... That, that woo came from a place that they knew not to do it in front of his wife. <laughs> OK, but no one did that woo when I came out. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. I'm yeah, I'm a... <laughs> there. That is a good Thank yeah. you. Do you know how many Valentine's cards I got this year? Have a guess. One from David. <laughs> <laughs> no one fancies me. I don't know if I have to do FHM and, you know, FHM covers, uh, you know, crutch like shorts and short skirts. I don't know what it is. Oh. Maybe they're fun with David. There's got to be someone out there. <laughs> I'm not complaining because obviously David fancies me, but there's got to be someone. I'm on the telly, for God's <laughs> sake. Even if it's just because you think I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> You should be at home in bed resting. I've got a cough. Yeah, no, I think it's all the stress and all the excitement. I've just got this cough come on. So. I'm sure all those boys out there are sending you their best wishes to get better. Oh, everybody says that, but they don't. Uh, if you could make the perfect body out of famous people's body parts, whose body parts would you use? Did? Um, the, the face of? The face of my girlfriend. The legs of? <laughs> My girlfriend. <laughs> and the rest of the body are... She's, she's here. Me, for good yeah, no, sake. she's here. Victoria's That's here. That's why I asked you first. Victoria's here. Full yeah. day. Not, not <laughs> <laughs> That's something that's really natural. Who'd you... you know, all I've done is a documentary that I thought nobody was going to watch. Um, that's all I've had, and yet every single day, virtually, I've been in the newspaper. And for, for why, I haven't done anything particularly interesting. So... I think it's the marriages. You'll have to get the others to marry other famous people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're meant to say it just because you're really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the answer we wanted. <laughs> the thought never occurred to me. <laughs> She's really the kindest, sweetest, most loyal human being that you can have in your life. You two are the sweetest <laughs> friends ever. I mean, that's just so nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't even been drinking. What about my acting abilities? Well, yeah, I thought the movie, I mean... Well, singing? Yes, I was quite drawn in well, by that too. I don't sing and she doesn't act. We stay in our lanes. I, think I would say be appropriate. I think that's the most important thing. And dress in a way that suits you. You've got to be comfortable. Wow, that's a big microphone you've got right there. It's almost tempting for me to break into song, but hey. David could be an actor. Well, who knows? I've been in Vice World. <laughs> I'd like to do Leeds Theatre or Bradford Alhambra. Hmm. I don't share that passion, but I can understand where she's coming from. We spent a lot of time, yeah. We lived together, didn't we? And when we were writing, we were singing together. And yeah. Getting all the foundations down. And then when we were in the institute together, we had a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. Of course, there's lots of time there. Time yeah. to work time on to our kill. Act. Victoria, sometimes I look at her and she's like in the clouds. <laughs> Find yourself going, stop right now. And then you're thinking, there's really something I need from the supermarket. And I'm thinking, sugar, coffee, you know, just checking that I've got everything. Or you find something in the audience that you can't help staring at. What do you put that on for? What did you wear that top for? <laughs> That dancing, which is really, really great. Give you two years, a couple of you be pregnant, you'll all be knackered, right? You'll be a lot older. 
Mm -hmm. You've been doing it a long time, so calm down the dance routine. Sit on stalls. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot. There's a lot more like coverage, like stage coverage. You know what I mean? And you get closer to the fans and closer to more fans. Well, I mean, I, nice. I don't quite make it round the whole thing. <laughs> It's them silly because shoes. Because of my heels, I'm mm. a bit slow. Mm. Yeah, but I think you do really well in them. You, you know, you give it some. I couldn't walk in them. I couldn't. We changed our shoes, me and Emma. Mm. Where the bins that don't do you heels. See, I suffer for my art. You don't always have to rely on your sexuality because that's not very nice sometimes. Mm. You've got to have something. Because it will sag one, one day. It will sag. Yeah. <laughs> but when it sags, <laughs> lift it. This is Jo, and it's Jo's first night doing my And I'm very nervous, very nervous, very nervous. So if very I come out half undressed, it's because Jo's buggered up. <laughs> she's just going to have my bottom in her face the whole night, which is not a nice thing. Well, actually, it's a great thing. Well, she's not moaning. <laughs> it's got a really nice collar. There's a lot of people that agree with that. I'm not scared of death. I never wear a seatbelt on a plane. Nez nearly murdered a child on the plane because she was tired. I didn't sleep on the plane. The makeup artist wasn't that great. It actually looked like someone just punched me in the bloody eye. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all fun when we go on tour with DVD. <laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks like Victoria Beckham's threw up everywhere. It's like designer clothes everywhere. <laughs> She's on food today. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Well, it makes a big difference yeah, when you know you're not hungover. <laughs> right. I take my mate Don with me most places because even when you're really tired, really not in the mood, Don will get you through. Who would like some of Don? Where have you all gone? <laughs> They've all gone. I'm like, hang on a minute, don't do that. Someone just asked me if this was a hash plant on my t-shirt. <laughs> It's a flower. <laughs> As if it would be. I wanted to create the perfect pieces, the perfect hoodie, the perfect tracksuit bottom. And did you ask anyone else to road test the products as well as yourself? No, I didn't because nobody else in my team can be bothered to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do that embarrasses your kids? <sighs> Exist. <laughs> <laughs> How did it all happen? How did it all happen? That's a good question. Well, we had five balls and chains, and um, we tied everybody up and made everybody do it. What do you think of our leader? This is he was too scared. <laughs> too scared of girl power, do you think? So what would what be your message to him? Hi. <laughs> so, um, how do you get dressed in the morning? What's your kind of starting point? Well, I put one point? foot in, <laughs> then I put the other foot in. Is David in the building? He's not. Oh. <laughs> no, he's not. He's, he's in Manchester. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, but what, Brooklyn's here. What's he doing in Manchester? He plays football. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't bring the kid out today. No, I left, I left my little baby at home tonight. He's, um, he's babysitting Brooklyn. Excuse but me. Do you realise that you two next year are going to be putting little tangerines and little <laughs> chocolate money in little stockings. I'll do it this year for Did David. Okay. <laughs> Can we just get in? No, not my hairy get in legs. Get tight on these legs, Not my please. hairy legs. Look, look I'll show my bikini legs. Like no, look how instead. hairy they are, look. Seriously. They're terribly hairy. My sister said, I can't believe you're getting in bed with David Beckham with hairy legs like that. <laughs> I thought you quite liked it. We have like a Velcro effect when I get in bed. We're like... Yeah, your legs. We have Velcro effect. That's with your armpits. But David doesn't ever have any hair on his body because he has a sack back and crack. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he look handsome? It looks so nice. The Queen, she'll love it. Looks it looks so handsome. I reckon you're going to get the Queen going, you know. <laughs> How do you feel when you see the enormous image of your husband, not looking at all size zero, <laughs> in Milan, in his underpants? I've seen, well I haven't seen it on this trip, but I've seen it and I think it's great. I think it's, um, I think Merton Marcus did a fantastic job. I think it's a, a great campaign and I'm proud to see his penis about 25 foot tall. <laughs> I'd like to start by... Oh, I have to raise it. That doesn't happen often. I'd like to start by congratulating... Oh my God, I didn't even mean that.
I'm so sorry, Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But now when I do say these silly things, you know, I do try in all my interviews to be really dull and boring. The thing and... is, I actually warn her before she does an interview. But I do try, she still don't does I? It. No, but I try and I'm very diplomatic, then all of a sudden something will just go blah, 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 and just like come Someone out. Someone asks you a question, you'll forget about me saying be careful and you'll go into me. I just can't help it. What do you do that's really annoying? Um, you just get to superstar tantrum every now and then. <laughs> what are we going to ask Valentino today? Is Naomi Campbell really a bitch? Because he must know her pretty well and, you know, every time I've met her, she's been a complete bitch and I'm the only one who actually admits it. She is nasty. Are you married? No. You're married? Yeah. How'd that go? When, when Are you, you get married? Ma good. I'm married, yeah. I got married uh, uh, a while ago. Why don't you wear a wedding ring then? <gasps> I do, just not on my hand. Oh. Um, the, uh... Where do you wear it then? Where do I wear it? Yeah. To the office or the supermarket. <laughs> um, I don't, we don't, we don't believe in that. She's very spiritual. She's imaginary, is what she is. <laughs> she's not real. She's fake. Uh, but she's, uh... She would uh, have to be, eh? Stop it! <laughs> now, have you do, you... do you just constantly go to their weddings and baby showers and be like, Yeah. Nah. Oh, great, yeah, I'll bring you another diaper thing. I get the best part. I Why get, I get the baby... Why him? I don't actually think you're that funny. And yeah. laugh. I don't know, I understand. <laughs> Can you? No! <laughs> off! You can't put more than one. How many? Just two? Oh, jeez. Be scared. Be very, very Wait, Okay, hang on. You need to scared. push it down with you your pole. No, I, I know. I, I, I don't want to hear it again. That wants nothing to do with this. Wow. I never right. thought I'd see that. All right. Who's, it, who's got the... <laughs> How do we end these things anyway? Well, they want you to say that you can um, subscribe or ring the bell. There's a bell. Oh, I like that. So people can subscribe, they can hit the bell. Some of them like to say you can smash that bell. I'm going to tell them to really hit that bell. Smash that bell. Make that bell call him daddy.